What's up, YouTube? Simply on Luckier. And today we're going to be opening Konami's best set of the year. Yes, out of all sets of 2024. This is definitely the best. But first, I want to ask you guys to check out the channel, subscribe for insane, if not godly videos. And of course, give this a thumbs up. We are doing a giveaway for an entire booster box of Maze of Millennia. Honestly, guys, jokes aside, this set might actually end up being the best set of the year. So uh, let us know in the comments below what you guys think about Maze of Millennia. What's your favorite high rarity or ultra rare card out of here? There is Bonfire. I mean, people were willing to pay over $100 for this card. I think right now on release day, you're looking at $80 to $90. That's insane. That is actually insane. We have Triple Tactics Thrust, guys. This is a short print. This card should go up in value from where it is now, uh, chilling in a $40 to $50 range. Transaction Rollback, a sleeper, I feel like, of the set. People know it's good, but I feel like this card's just insane. It's, like, actually insane. It's going to make people uh, bring back the DD Crows. And, of course, uh, Buzz King. I mean, this is four Ultras now that are good. Harmonic Synchro Fusion, five. Five Ultras that are good, and we have some flame swordsman cards that are not less than five dollars i mean this set is absolutely phenomenal i mean i think right now on release day you're looking at an 80 dollars box guys go to simpleandlucky.com should be competitive prices but this is one of the best sets konami has ever made guys we have a ton of just phenomenal cards this is great I'm really excited for this opening today, guys. I got four booster boxes. It's going to be just a, a session with me and you guys, you know, podcast style. We're going to open up some Maze of Millennium. We're going to talk about the set and uh, participate in the giveaway, guys. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, post down in the comments below. Which of these incredible cards are you looking forward to the most? Let me know what you guys think about Maze of Millennium. All right, let's get started. First edition Maze of Millennia. Remember, check out the links at the top. We are going to be doing some whatnot streaming tonight as well. Um, check out the link for that. Maybe giving away some Maze of Millennium packs while we're over there as well. So here we go. Maze of Millennium, first booster box. I mean, this is going to be crazy. So I'm hoping to pull. So I have four boxes today. It's pretty much guaranteed, guaranteed um, four CRs per case. So four booster boxes should be pulling one or two CRs today for you. Um, and then you also get one Junk Warrior uh, QCR per case um just another fun thing to add to your box so let's get started uh first off you have earthbounds in here and altergeist so a couple like deck core type things you'll see uh on simply like his ebay we might have them available already or even the website uh rescue aces supers don't know if that'll make deck core because i think they're going to be kind of expensive um salamandra cards for just a whole support deck for flame swordsman love that supreme rage and Chimera cards. So Earthbounds, very cool. First pack. There's just a lot to love with this set, guys. Totem Bolt, there's, there's the Hydrant, guys. Again, as an Ultra, I don't, 30 to $50 card. Always been in that range for the last few months here. And um, now it's a Super. So you're looking at a pretty valuable card here. This is a Fire slash Pyro format, as you guys have seen seen with some of these cards some reprints of um millennium cards in here too like ancient chant for uh searching out your oof. this is the big earthbound card in the set that's a super prisoner stone sweeper um actually does some shenanigans for earthbounds so look out for this i feel like it might actually retain a good value as a super maybe looking at a couple dollars we'll see jet sea grown reprint Keep going here with this right side. Come on, Maze of Millennia. Doppel Warrior. It's been a while. 100 Eyes Dragons in here. Number one, Buzz King. So, Ultra Guys, you're, you're looking at a box here. By the way, each box of Maze has four Ultras. I just told you guys at the beginning of this video, there is one, two, three Ultras that are above $40. And then there is one, two Ultras that are around $10 right now. This is a release day, too. This is a pre-release. We're at release day for this video. And you have multiple cards that are above five. I don't even know really what to say about how good this is right now. But um, I get it. Talking about markets, you know, you're a shop simply, you know, whatever. But Buzz King, that's a good card. That's a very good eight rank. Seize Monster, good for decks. Um, you're probably going to see it in every single easy eight rank deck. Horus right now, I think, being the most popular. Blue Eyes can play it. 
have some fun. Magic Swordman cards in here, love it. The Swords Realm. I think Konami did a fantastic job with these Flame Swordsman cards. Uh, we've seen them, you know, in the past come out with these cool archetypes, giving a shout out to some of people's favorites. Um, and I think this is a good one. Gate Guardian being the last one in Maze. Now we're seeing Flame Swordsman love. Horn Saurus. Uh, Magic Spectre's in here. Definitely one of my least favorite archetypes of all time. <laughs> but they're in here if you like them. All right, here we go. Earthbounds. There we go. More Earthbounds. This guy's crazy. This guy's actually crazy. I want to see what you guys think about him um, because he is just something else for super rares. Yeah, right now he's chilling as one of the most valuable supers in the set. Man, these Earthbound supers are all doing well. That's fantastic. Good for you, Earthbound. But this guy is insane. Could you imagine actually pulling this guy out? Um, 10 stars. I don't even know. Ugh, if we just had a card like this in the past with Dark World, it would have been so fun. But you don't even need to use Dark World to do shenanigans with that. So I forget what cards can exactly bring him out. But he's uh, just an insane card. Love it. Earthbound Prison. I think all of these Earthbound cards are pretty cool. I hope. I hope one of you out there, Clever Duelist. I've seen that Exodia deck that topped at a YCS or Regionals, whatever that was. I've seen it. You know, it's time for Earthbounds. Salamandra cards here. That's so cool that they made Salamandra like a monster. Fighting Flame Dragon. <laughs> yeah. So cool. <sighs> Bonfire, man. Makes a difference. It's good in the Flame Swordsman deck. It's good in, oh, Transaction Rollback. And you know what's crazy? This very valuable Ultra Rare card. I feel like from collector sets. Uh, best way to uh, explain that to people that don't understand exactly what I mean is sets with collector rares, okay? Maze is kind of a weird one. It's a new new version Konami's trying out, but usually there's only three Ultras per box, and that's kind of like your Amazing Defenders type sets. Um, but four Ultras in here is nuts for the Maze sets. And then also, $40 cards when you're getting this many Ultras is crazy. And this is one of them. Guys... Right now, the box is, what, $80? $80? And I, I know not everyone wants to talk about market things, but I just got half the value back in the box from one card and um, already have a $10. I mean, like, this box is going to go up in value or your cards are going to drop. And I don't think these cards are going to drop because they're just too good. Maze of Millennia, if you have any interest in it, you need to buy it now. This set is stupid. Pillar. And I think this is another good card. Look at this card. If this card is summoned, that's any summoning, add an equip spell from your deck to your hand. Then, if it's in attack position, change it to defense. We have a Stratos for equipments. You guys like this one? Not as popular, but still, man. As a classically trained duelist, <laughs> that's really cool, man. Throw that in some random classy decks. Have some fun. Search out Snatch Steel, right? For you Snatch Steel lovers out there. Oh, this guy looks so cool as a collector rare, by the way. Very nice. You know what? I do not like playing against Altergeist, and I don't like really anything about it, but um, I think it's cool. I really do. In the show, if you guys have ever watched Reigns a little bit, I feel like the Altergeist is pretty cool. And I think really what's making Yu-Gi-Oh take off right now is the fact that they don't really need to follow the show. Konami, you are really doing well, I feel like, with some of these sets. And I think that that is the, uh, the difference maker here. Really can just do what the uh, viewers, viewers, the players are asking for. Ultimate Flame Swordsman. Look at this guy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this, this is it. This is it. This is the bee's knees right here. Flame Swordsman and Flame Dragon. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, should have two more Ultras left. You guys are like, uh, simply, you said. You said. Armored Xyz, 100 eyes. You know what's crazy is we really might get one of the best boxes right now. You can get Transaction, Rollback, and Bonfire at the same time. I'm going to remind you the value of Bonfire. Um, usually when you see Yu-Gi-Oh cards... 
a set can be worth or box value can be worth one of the most valuable cards in the set bonfire is like 85 90 dollars right now and we could pull that right now with this card and you get four per case guys it's a four hit card not to mention you can hit triple tactics here and there which is gonna go up in value i just don't understand this is so good so good so let's see let's see if we can just go nuts bonfire boom uh this box is worth so much <laughs> the fact that we talked about it and pulled it is crazy add a level four lower pyro monster from your deck to your hand only one per turn reinforcements of the army oh baby that was an oh baby moment all right i, I get it the gods the Yu-Gi-Oh gods and i was i was just an oh baby moment i was talking about it loving on it Caressing it a little bit. What a box, man. Can you hit triple tactics thrust in the same box? Can we get a $200 box? Can we get a $200 box here, Yu-Gi-Oh gods? I haven't seen all three of them in one. Phoenix gear. <laughs> and a $10 buzz kit. What is happening? What is happening, man? These are release prices. Guys, I'm telling you, this, this, this set... It's going to go up in value. This is insane. Four per case, too. Phoenix Gear Blade again. It looks like we've seen all the old uh, rares. We'll start speeding up here, I know. Take our time with our first box. There's our Stratos for equipments. Three more packs. My only complaint is I wish sets were bigger for Yu-Gi-Oh, guys. I mean, every set should be 100 Every set should be 100 cards, I feel like. Nice dinosaur there. I think people actually do like that dino. It's doing quite well. Yeah, definitely one of the more valuable supers in the set. People do like it. All right, here we go. Thrust for the six samurai. Hmm? Hey! Eye of illusion. And you know what? I'll take it as a classically trained duelist. Millennium cards, you know, we'll take what we get. Crazy, crazy. Earthbound, another just really good card in the set. Wow. Guys, that first box though, there could have been a collector rare in there. Could you have imagined? There could have been a collector rare in there. Unreal. Unreal. I don't know. This is getting, this is looking a little crazy. Looking a little crazy. All right, so what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna go into our second box here. We're gonna have some fun. What a fun set to open. Again, shout out to the links at the top, guys. Uh, a little whatnot shenanigans tonight. Some giving away some packs and um, giveaway for a booster box. All you guys have to do is give this video a thumbs up, post in the comments below. Um, what do you guys think about this set? You know, your preferred ultra out of here, your preferred card. Is it Flame Swordsman's? Is it Bonfire? Yeah, I don't think we need to show off any more rares. Some Supreme King love in here too. That's the uh, other archetype I didn't mention. So you have like five archetypes in here. Earthbounds, Flame Swordsman's, um, I guess Chimera even too. But... Wow, some Dinos. Sun Unification. So you have raw cards in here. Altergeist. There's a lot going on. A lot going on. Little mini deck cores that you can make left and right, which is nice. All right, guys. Our first flame fighting flame swordsman, or our first swordsman, um, Ultra. I mean, these cards are not bad at all. I really do like them. They have freaking summon effects, man. Normal or special add a spell that mentions flame sword. It's like, you know, cards like that are just not bad. So just another good card in the set. Salamandra to go along with our fighting flame swordsman there. And ultimate flame swordsman is back. I do like how they have a lot of earthbound in here too. Wow. Very nice. 
feel like Konami listened. Konami listened on this one. Sure, valuable cards are nice, right? Transaction, rollback, bonfire, and a freaking fantastic reprint, Triple Tactics Thrust. You know, for a second there, people thought that could be a rare. Can you imagine that as a rare? Could change things. Um, but still, the short print brain being the reprint, I think is a fantastic idea. <laughs> what do I even say? What do I even say? What do I even say? I don't, I don't even know. You guys are watching me open up freaking $200 boxes here. I don't even know. Because, I mean, at this, the supers, there's a dollar to $2 supers left and right. Like, what is Hydrant at right now? On release, Hydrant is a $4 super rare. You know, it's like, this is just unrealistic. You're probably thinking, these prices won't hold. I mean, is this our first MR MSRP box? When's the last time we had a box release that actually was Konami's MSRP? Toon, what, what, what was it called? Toon Chaos? You know what I mean? That card was what? That box was 120 on release. People are gonna freak out. Something's actually gonna be MSRP. The only other box I could think of that actually did that really quickly was uh, DASA, Dark Saviors. We all know it came out in there. If you don't, it, it's Skystrip. <laughs> wow. And that's as, about as far as my time as a shop goes back. So those are the only two sets I can think of that actually hit MSRP quite quickly. We got a little Delta Wing. This card is... Uh, this card in Drastic Draw not doing too hot. You don't really want to see those as your pools. I feel, I feel like it would have been a cool super. Just, I don't know. I think Konami's like, we can't make the set too good. <laughs> I mean, Konami, if you have a set with all $5 plus ultras, you've done something right. And I appreciate that. That is, that is fantastic. It means the players are happy. Shops are happy. Nice economy going on there. All right, here we go. Earthbound's back. That guy's fantastic. Stone Sweeper. We're still looking for one more Ultra. Why do I not have this card pulled very often? Arcana Force. The Fiend. I love the Arcanus. We're going for a Thrust. Triple Tactics Thrust and Bonfire in the same box. Is this box more valuable than the last box? Holy crap. We're not even pulling CRs. Oh, is Thrust not a CR in here? Oh, gotta love my six Samurais. Gotta love my six Samurais, man. Wow. I am freaking blown away right now. Is that four? Yeah, that's four. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't know where it begins and where it ends. What do you do with something this good? Holy moly. <laughs> Two bonfires. A triple tactics in a bonfire and a transaction in a bonfire. I mean, what are we supposed to do? Oh man! All right, Yugi gods. I feel like right now we're not we're not really showing off. We're just we're just hitting the best cards in the set, but half the set is the best. So let, let's show off a little bit, Yugi gods here. Let's get a CR of either bonfire. So we haven't hit a CR, so we're due. We are officially due. It is one in three boxes. CR Bonfire is over $200 currently, and Rollback is over $100. Yugi Gods, we're throwing it down. Let me know if you want to pick it up. Let me know. 
What, how many CRs in the set? <clears throat> 12? 16. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of CRs. I guess it's four per case. So, I mean, why not put in more CRs if you have uh, more potential hits? I like it. I don't think it's a bad idea. I mean, after 25 quarter centuries, might as well do 25 CRs. Am I right? I still think, Konami, if for some reason you're watching this, I still think that we should have a subset of CRs every time. Even for quarter centuries, there should be a little subset in there. So if you're going to do 25, let's just pretend. Here we go. Drastic draw. All right, so drastic draw goes with uh, Photon Delta Wing there. You got to pull them. You got to love them. You don't want to box with both of those. <laughs> Um, so I feel like, let's just say Konami does 25 big hits per set. So 25 QCRs and 25 collector rares for collector rare sets, QCR sets for core sets. So I think, I think five, I think that's fair Konami. Five should be a subset of cards that are not in the set that are just fun for us to try to pull, giving the collectors a little bit of love. Cause I feel like collectors are still a little... A little out of luck on some of these sets. We get a little subset of five high rarity cards. I think that would change. I think your uh, every release might get a little closer to MSRP. Just throwing that down. Unreal, guys. Okay, looks like we are done with... No, we still got another ultra hit on this right side. Looks like the sides are split pretty evenly. Freaking Buzz King, I mean... You can't go wrong. Another good high value ultra rare. Good card, guys. Very good card. See, I missed that. Fantastic super there. And last couple on this side. Full armored Lancer. I guess kind of going with the like, Seas Kings there. All right, left side. I mean, at this point, we're looking for, uh, let's see, I was gonna say QCR. We're looking for a collector rare bonfire, transaction rollback. I'm kind of loving the Buzz King. I wouldn't mind a Buzz King. Would not mind a Buzz King. Here we go. Jesus, I thought that was bonfire. I'm like, dude, three for three, that's a bit much. <laughs> that's a bit much. All right, so this box looking a little rough after our $200 boxes. This box looking a little rough. Three low values. Or no, sorry. <laughs> that Delta Wing. A couple mid-tiers, you know, you know what I mean? It's just... We're used to such low values. I feel like this truly getting a $8 card and a $10 card is not that bad. All these supers that are fantastic is, is good as well. Still no CR, come on. Give it to us. Kaiba! pack that I a little skippy on there dude this old this super is more valuable than your ultras there last pack of Nessie from this box guys and we have one more uh we are due for an ultra hit I mean flame swordsman okay I mean so you can get a box like that you can get a box like that I mean, using our supers, I still feel like we got a good amount of value back. Crazy. All right, you guys. Last booster box. Man, those Flame Swordsman cards are really cool, though. If you guys just want to take a quick peek. Fantastic cards here. Wow. Set these to the side here. I'm going to call out. 
Once fire starts burning, it can't be stopped. See, I got the ace here too. And the Sabo. Leaving a spot open for a potential third bonfire slash collector ribbon. <laughs> All right, you guys. I uh, appreciate everybody that was here today uh, stopping by the video. Uh, not the longest. I feel like not the longest box opening. We, we definitely done longer openings. Nice and quick, but also uh, pretty hot. Been wanting to say that the whole bit. <laughs> pretty hot. Pretty fire. All right, here we go, guys. Again, shout out to the links at the top. Uh, give some love to simplyunlucky.com if you can. Uh, got these boxes at maybe competitive prices. I know we've already sold most of them, so um, check it out though if you guys want to get some boxes and support the support Simply Lucky. And then we also are going to be doing a show tonight on whatnot. We do live stream here and there. Go follow us over there. We do have a uh, a link that allows you to get fifteen dollars off. Is it really fifteen? Fifteen dollars off your first purchase? That's insane. FTB, first time buyers. Here we go. No way. Fire. What? What? Triple bonfire? <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Somebody's got to do my combined value on these four boxes. <laughs> what? Dude, we're due for a CR. That was a big do there, but we're due for a CR. I have not seen this. Nobody at the shop has told me. Obviously, the shop doing their thing for singles. That's their thing. You know, let them be for that. But I have not personally seen Bonfire, CR Bonfire, same box. Yo, this is the holy grail. The fire grail. Jeez, jeez, dude, guys, we have a chance. We have a one in 16 chance. Yes, I have guaranteed this is a CR box because we are due. We have a one in 16 chance. That's not bad odds. It's not bad odds. Oh man. That was our first ultra too, man. We could, we could still get tactics. We could still get rollback. I can't believe we got triple bonfire. I am like burned right now. Just burned. <laughs> All right, let's see if we get some more fire. You go! No. <laughs> Ancient chat. I was like, we're, we're due for some spells. We're due for some spells that are not tactics and bonfire. Ancient chant, though. Cool to see a reprint for this in here. I think a strong, you know, $5 to $10 card. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Technically, I'm looking for the CR love, though. Here we go. Looking for that CR love. <laughs> Woo, the hype right now, man. I don't know. I got to use this map more often. This is crazy. Dude, Ace is just burning bright right now. Here we go. The Phoenix Gear Blade. Eight of fours, two more hits. That's good, that's good, more fire. More fire, we got the Flame Swordsman. Beautiful card. I mean, this was a fresh case. We did take four boxes from a fresh case here. It's just pulling out the freaking bonfires, but no CRs. Oh man, this is nuts. This is actually freaking nuts. Yu-Gi-Oh! Damn. Dude, I can taste it, guys. We can taste it. We're not even gonna QCR? <laughs> QCR is one per case. Again, junk warrior, but still fun. Wow. Last four guys. Either way, this was absolute fire. 
appreciate everybody jumping in on this video, guys. Dude, enter this giveaway. I'm telling you, I think this box is gonna be 100 bucks, no problem. So you want a $100 box in this giveaway? All you gotta do is like this video, subscribe, post in the comments below, let me know. What do you think about this set? Why is this set so good? Do you think it's overhyped? If it is, I did not help the cause. I did not help the cause. I have entered the hype train. Um, all right, guys. Let's set fire to this last booster pack of Destiny. Heart of the Cards guide us. Here we go. Can we really last pack magic this? The Yugi Gods are gonna magic spectre me in my last pack. I have like a vendetta against those damn cards. All right, guys, that was absolutely crazy. Phenomenal opening. Appreciate everybody that's watching once again. Remember to check out the links at the top of the description below. If you want to give some love to Simple and Lucky, we always appreciate that. Again, simpleandlucky.com may or may not have this set at this point. I don't even know what's happening. Um, but yes, check it out, guys. Best set of the year by far. <laughs> uh, new shout out by Konami, too. Another rarity is coming out. I don't even know. Konami is Konami's doing it to it. 2024, guys. As always, thanks for watching and Simple Unlucky signing out.